okay so hello everyone welcome back now let us start problem number 5.1 which is a similar problem we have done in our last video which was cyclotron and which says a particle of charge q enters a region of uniform magnetic field b and b is pointing into the page and the field that deflects the particle a distance d above the original line all right so if the charge is if the charge is positive or negative so he is asking about the charge and then he is asking about the momentum relation i hope you remember the momentum relation that was p is equal to q r into b where r is the uh, radius of the uh, cyclotron all right so we'll be starting with the uh, um, with the direction of the uh, with the uh, charge of the test charge what is what is it it is positive or negative so there are two methods to do to do that the first method is you should use your left hand and you should uh, take your uh, thumb as f and your index finger as b and your middle finger is i f b i we call it so point your uh, thumb in the direction uh, Uh, point your index finger in, in the direction of magnetic field that is into the page, and then uh, point your uh, middle finger in, into the uh, direction of velocity that gives, and then then the thumb will point in uh, where will the charge will go. So as you can see that uh, thumb is pointing in the upward direction when you are pointing your index finger downwards. I sh I rec I recommend you to try this while I am explaining you. So uh, if the Uh, index finger is uh, inside the page, and middle finger is uh, in the direction of velocity. Then the thumb will point towards the uh, direction of force. That is, force direction is upward. And you can also calculate uh, the direction of force by the uh, curl method v cross b. That is, you have to uh, place your uh, uh, you have to place your palm. in the direction of velocity of your right hand place the palm of your velocity uh, uh, place the palm in the direction of velocity and then curl them in the direction of magnetic field here magnetic field is inside the page so we'll be curling them inside the uh, page and the direction of force then the thumb will give you the direction of force so thumb is again pointing upward so uh, charge will go upward so uh, that is why it has given the direction upward so uh, as it is going upward and the direction of force is also upward that is why charge is positive here but if if we are getting uh, somehow if the uh, let us take another case where magnetic field has a opposite direction say it has a, a direction of outside the page then force will be downward in that case will be getting our charge as negative so this is the case when uh, charge is positive when the force is upward the first we calculated by the left hand thumb rule that uh, thumb will point towards the direction of force and the next method was the palm uh, right hand palm direction that thumb will point towards the uh, direction of force all right so q is positive here we calculated uh, then comes the uh, question that we have to write in terms of uh, uh, we have to write the momentum in terms of a d b and q all right so let us draw a cyclotron we have drawn that cyclotron like this this is radius r and suppose uh, it came here uh, the chest chest charge came here after some time and this distance is uh, a saying a and this distance is d the distance it move it moved upward all right so this is actually this distance d all right this is also r as you know that this is the radius of the circle so uh, the total distance uh, we can cal even cal uh, we need to calculate the radius uh, in terms of this so momentum is equal to momentum of a cyclotron is equal to q r into b so we have q we have b but we don't have uh, we need to uh, calculate r in terms of a and b so you can apply pythagoras theorem or use the sin uh, formula here by letting this angle as theta you can do both ways i'm applying pythagoras theorem this side is uh, r minus d and this is a so r minus d whole square this side 
and this side a is equal to r square hypotenuse uh, you very well know that so on solving that you you get r square plus d square minus 2 r d plus a square is equal to r square all right so r came from here by calculation d square plus a square upon 2d so this is the value of r in terms of a and d so just putting the values q is equal to b into d square plus a square upon 2d this is the momentum in terms of a d and a and d and q's and b so this is our answer i hope you enjoyed the video uh, thank you see you in next video bye bye